Paul is writing here in Galatians chapter 5 about believers and how there are certain things that should come out of the life of people who have faith in Jesus and out of people who the Holy Spirit resides within. And he says in Galatians chapter 5, 22 through 23, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Let's just be honest. It's extremely difficult to do those things alone, is it not? Like, I can't. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the only one here. But I cannot do those things by myself. Let's just start with the first one. Love. Hello. You know how hard it is to love people apart from Jesus? It is really difficult. Really difficult. Y'all know it's true. People are annoying. People get on your nerves. You can laugh about that. It's true. I'm just saying what you're thinking. I know it. I know it. People get on your nerves. They're unfaithful. They're unreliable. They reject us. They hurt us. They offend us. They let us down. They disappoint us. We cannot love people on our own. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's a broken world that we live in. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. We did the exact same thing to God, didn't we not? We rejected God. We turned our back on God. We were unfaithful to God. We, we hurt him. We disappointed him. We let him down. But here's the truth. Here's the good news. He still loves us when we're unlovable. He still loves us when we're unlovable. And when we remain in Jesus, that truth about how God loves us unconditionally allows us to love others in the same way, even when they are unlovable even when they're annoying, even when they get on our nerves, even when they hurt us, the unconditional love of God that we were reminded of when we remain in Jesus spurs us to produce that fruit in the lives of others. 